Creating consistent characters in AI is very important, both for advertising purposes, such as if you're trying to advertise a business such as a real estate agency and want a consistent face throughout the ad, or for storytelling, where you want to have consistent characters, such as this character you see on your screen right now, who is part of a short story about a time traveler that I'll share with you later in this episode. But first, I want to show you how to do it. Just a quick note here. I will mainly be using the version 5.2 mid-journey model in this video. There may be newer versions out as you are watching this, so feel free to use them. But if you would like to get the same results I'm getting in this video, I would advise you to use the 5.2 model. The same rules should mostly apply to all models. Okay, back to the video. Now there are multiple ways of achieving consistency within mid-journey, but in this video I'm going to be looking at the face swap method. This uses a really cool app within Discord that you use with the mid-journey server. But to start off you're going to need your own server, so if you don't know how to do that I'll quickly cover it now. So once you're in Discord, all you have to do is go down to this little plus icon here in the bottom left hand corner, which is to add a server. And just click on create my own. Now you can either do it for a club or community, but for this one we'll go for me and my friends. And then just choose your server name and click create. Now once you have your own server, there are two bots that you need to invite. So to start off, we'll add the mid-journey bot. So in your server, you'll see you've got your name in the top left. And if you click this little down arrow, you should see the app directory. Just click on that, and then just type in mid-journey, and click on the mid-journey bot. Now from here, just click on add to server, and make sure your server is listed in that drop-down menu, and then just click continue, and progress with authorize. And once you've gone through the security checks, you're good to go. You've set up a mid-journey bot. Now for the face swap app, you're going to have to click on a specific link to add it into your server and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Once you click on it, it will bring up the same menu that you used when you installed the mid-journey bot. Now just continue on that and it will be added to your server. Awesome, and it's as easy as that. You've got mid-journey and insight face app installed into your own server. Okay, so you may be wondering what this face swap does and it pretty much does what it says. It's pretty simple. All you do is upload a face picture and then you can use that face on any other image that you create as long as it's got a face that you want to swap into. And of course you can add your own face into this app as well. It's best to swap faces on more realistic style faces. As if you're swapping a face onto say a painted face, it doesn't quite match the look as you can see here. The face swap app is free technically but you can get a paid version, and we'll talk about that a bit later on. Now we've got those installed into our own server, let's have a look at what it can do. So to start off, we're going to generate an image of a face. So for this prompt, I used a photo portrait of a unique looking handsome man, clear facial features, cinematic, 35 millimeter lens, global illumination, captured up close against a simple, uncluttered white background. It's important to do a close-up image of the face with an uncluttered background and I chose a white backdrop so the app can clearly see what is defined as a face and there's not other distractions for it to create weird results or whatnot. So I've created these four. I like the look of this top left one. So I'm going to up -res this and I'm going to copy this image. Now to use this bot, it is similar to mid-journey, how you have to put a forward slash and then your prompt in. Then once you put in a forward slash, to check out the commands for insight face swap, just click on the tab there. And you'll see all the different commands that you can use within this app. If you'd like a more thorough explanation on what all the shortcuts do within this app, then I've left a document down below. Okay, so when you've copied your image, then just type in slash save ID. And this is just telling the Insight Face app to add an image into its database. And you just have to give that image a name. So I'm just choosing Man Face 1. Okay, so that's done. 
So now I'm just going to generate an image of someone else so that we can swap that original face that we saved into it and see what it looks like. Okay, so for this prompt, I just chose a photo of a handsome man playing at a beach in afternoon light, portrait photography, shot on Canon EOS R6, cinematic, 35 millimeter, global illumination, natural looking. And I'm actually going to leave all the prompts I've used in a link down below, so feel free to check those out. Okay, so here are the four images. Now it's really easy to do the face swap on the image you've just up -rezzed. You just have to right click it, then go down to the apps tab and click in swapper. Okay, so now it's gonna work its magic. It's gonna place that face that we uploaded first into the face that we just generated. All right, so here is the result for one of them. That looks pretty good actually. It doesn't feel like it's been pasted on. It just looks natural. That's really impressive. And here's another one. I think it looks really good. You can tell it is the person that we created in the first image. Okay, and this is the image with the glasses on. So it's actually managed to get the face behind the glasses, which is very impressive. Now, the only thing I've noticed is that this, one of the, the lenses on his glasses is see-through, but the other one is not. But you can always fix that up in Photoshop or other editing software. But otherwise, yeah, you can tell it's him. That's pretty impressive. Now you may notice there is this bit of text that says a number out of 50 credits. So this app gives you 50 credits a day to work with. And once the day is finished, then it resets. Now I think the clock is set at UTC time. So once that time hits midnight, then all of your credits just reset again. Okay, so now I'm going to try a character, but in a completely different setting. So something that is more stylistic and see how it tackles that. This is quite a detailed prompt I'm using for this image, but like I said, if anybody would like the prompts that I'm using, I've left a link to them down below. Okay, so I've got these images and I've gone for like a Blade Runner-esque kind of style image. So like a dystopian future. Very moody, but I thought it'd be a good one to put his face on. So this is the first one, and yeah, it looks great. It's got the same kind of color tone as the rest of it. It does still look like the same guy. Uh, yeah, that's really impressive. And that's why this app is so powerful. You can create your character like the one I had before of a guy on a beach and then have the same guy, but in a completely different setting. Like this one, he's in the future, and you can tell it's the same person. And here is another shot. And this one's a bit further back, so it's good that it can work on smaller scale faces as well. Okay, so I'm going to try it on another image that I've generated. Now this is more of a kind of like a photo shoot style image. And wow, it actually worked really well on this guy that has glasses on. And it looks just like our character, so that's awesome. So it can work with glasses, but you may have to try it a few different times with different images just to make sure it works properly. And there is another image. Again, looks just like the character that we made. Now I'm going to try a face swap on a more of like an iStock style business photo. And here's our character giving a speech. You could put your own face onto these as well to make it look like you're giving a speech in front of people. And here's a few weird and wacky ones of our character. This is him as a pirate. It looks really seamless. And here he is as a cowboy. This is our character as a soldier in a war. And it looks great. It's even put the mud on his face. It actually added to the realism and the grittiness of the image. And here he is as a soldier running. Now I wanted to try a dynamic pose with this to see if it would work. And it does. So this is a good example of how you can give dynamic shots with your character. And here is our character in space. And I think it looks amazing. Like it's even got the lighting from the scenery. And another one here, this is our character just sitting down on a subway reading a book. It looks really natural. Now this one's a tough one because the angle of his face is slightly off, but there's no distortion or anything. And this app is great if you want to create an avatar for any promotional material. Like for this one, if you're selling, say, a green smoothie and you want your character to be in the shot. So I just created this image and it's just of a man drinking a green smoothie and I placed our character's face in there. Now it's not 100% perfect, but it does work. Or let's say you have a gym business and you want your character to be consistent throughout your promotional material. Here's our character in the gym. 
And again, it looks great. The lighting looks perfect. And here's another one. Again, it's getting the angles really well. Like this one could be tough with him looking away. So this shows the huge possibilities you can gain by using this app. Now you may be wondering, can you do two faces at the same time or choose between faces if you have multiple people in an image? Now this is where the paid version comes in. As with the free version, you don't get to do multiple faces, but there is a way to work around it, which I'll show you. But if you do opt to do the paid method, which you can do through their Patreon, then you do get to do multiple faces within the app as well as some other benefits. Okay, so I've created an image here with two men walking outside. And if we use the app, it will just add the face onto one of them, like here. Added it to the man on the right. I'm not sure why it picked the man on the right rather than the one on the left, it's just the way the app works. But say you wanted the man on the left to be changed, but not the right. What you would do is save the original image and then take it into a photo editing software. For this example, I'll use a free piece of editing software called PhotoP. So you want to take the image that you generated, upload it into your editing software, and we just want to cut out the person that you want to swap the face with. So for this one, I'll take the man on the left. So I'll select him, cut, and paste him into a new document, and then save this, and I'll export it as a PNG. Then you want to go back into Discord, put forward slash swap ID, then take that image that you just cropped, and then type in the name that you want to put in. So mine is manface1, the man that we've been using this entire video. Press enter, and there you go. It's placed our character's face onto the other man now. So this is just a really good way if you have multiple people and you want to get it onto a specific person's face that you want to change. All you have to do is save this image, go back into your editing suite, and place him in, and just align him back up. And there you go. So you can choose which face you want to swap if there are multiple faces in the image. This is a bit of a workaround, but it only takes like a minute or two extra. So I thought it'd be really cool to take everything we've learned from this video to create a short story with this character. I actually made a really short story using ChatGPT and use an AI voiceover for the narration. And I created multiple images using Midjourney, then the FaceWap app to put our character in different situations for this story. The story focuses on a time traveler named Victor, which I thought was a great use for this FaceWap app as our character will go through different time periods. So here it is. that was a pretty cool short story and using this app just made it so easy now if you've learned anything in this video please give us a thumbs up 
and make sure to check out our other videos on creating consistent characters in Midjourney. Just click the thumbnail on the screen to check it out. You won't want to miss it.